Welcome to Tech Brothers Armor. In this video, we are going to use Azure Resource Graph Explorer and get the list of all virtual machines and some information about them. Here I have put some information such as I need a subscription in which this VM exists, then VM name, we can extract the resource group, we can extract the location, host name, operating system, SKU, and OS type and the VM size, you know, because we need to know the VM size so we can understand the billing and all that and then also we can get the disk size and all that so there are some more uh, columns I will get in this uh, by using the query but uh, this is all could I uh, put here in the uh, this uh, picture now let's go to the Azure uh, resource graph explorer and take a look uh, so here I am uh, how to get here uh, first of all uh, what you need to do I'm gonna just copy this one you know for now and uh, in case uh, so let's say we go to the home in the Azure uh, uh, portal and here in the Azure portal we are going to go to the resource group and uh, then in the resource group uh, we will be finding open query here uh, once we click right there uh, there will be tons of uh, sample queries available for us uh, and uh, uh, these are the tables that we can use it um, so here is our sample queries if you want to get the list of all the counts of Azure resources and all that you can use it but in my case I have written my own query and the query writing here is done by Kusto. So here's the query uh, that is written in Kusto language and uh, that can be used uh, to extract the data from these different tables. Um, the table we are using here is called the resources. Um, if I just uh, highlight this uh, resources table and run query, what it is going to do, it is going to give me information for all resources. Uh, and here you see that uh, there is a type column and uh, it is a virtual machine. So that's what I would like to get because uh, I want to only extract the data for virtual machines. Um, so here I'm filtering for the type say in Microsoft.compute virtual machines once I do that it's gonna give me the data where the type is the virtual machines if I want to get the data for only disk I can just filter for the disk as well now if I highlight this query and execute it's gonna give me only the virtual machines here now you see that it is giving me basic information such as a VM type of that tenant ID kind location resource group subscription managed by and uh, some other information but I'm interested uh, to see some more information um, such as uh, operating system SKU host name so I have used this uh, pipe sign here then I said extend uh, that means adding a new column here and uh, that's the name of the column I've been given them um, so this is kind of alias name uh, so OS uh, and then I'm using property dot story profile and then uh, I'm using uh, image reference dot offer um, so if uh, you take this one and uh, here you can go and uh, put on the internet and what happened uh, you will get all these uh, uh, libraries there that you can use uh, to extract that more information uh, so here uh, if you open this document and uh, you, it's uh, brought you right here so it is the uh, image dot reference then you have a uh, dot offer uh, and uh, sorry the right here yeah dot offer that will give you the OS uh. now if you want to go further like a uh, OS disk and all that you can do that uh, you know and I have used different properties here such as the uh, SKU I have used a uh, OS profile dot computer name to get the computer name so I I, I use different properties uh, to get that information so you can play with this uh, uh, link here there are all different properties available and uh, you can gather the information what you need so I will just put the query for you then you don't have to worry like you know writing by yourself but uh, if you want to write it just to take any of that properties and just paste into Google and it will take you to that page from where you can uh, study more properties and uh, add them so I'm adding all these different columns here like OS, SKU, host name, OS type, VM size and disk size in GB and admin username. Once all these the columns are added, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say projector. That means I want to display the column in the sequence I want to and only the column I want to. So here you see the subscription ID, VM name, even uh, you know VM um, name is uh, here somewhere and uh, uh, size is here yeah so we have a name and the name I'm actually uh, I'm, I can rename those column in the display as well so I'm saying VM name when I have the name here uh, then I'm saying resource group location host name and all that so I can put the, all the order I want to display these columns and also uh, shortlist the columns I want to display because the source uh, resources a column returns a lot more columns and I don't want to return every column 
so that's the reason I am just like a kind is not uh, you know here in the list um, so uh, just provide the list of the columns you want to display so project key will uh, will help you to do that okay if you know want to know more about a uh, custo query I will put the link uh, how to write custo queries and all that and uh, how to use a uh, project or extent and all that and uh, uh, you can uh, read uh, and learn from there so this query is going to return you all this information uh, such as uh, your subscription name your VM name and then a resource group in which uh, these VMs are and location of those uh, VMs and uh, then uh, you have host name uh, then you have operating system SKU OS type VM size uh, so this is really helpful to understand uh, you know what is the, the VM size uh, you are using and how much the billing and all that so you can take from here and uh, go on Microsoft website and see the prices for these uh, different uh, VMs uh, here you can see that the disk size in GB so that's the disk size uh, it is telling us for the VM1 uh, and here uh, it is uh, telling us null uh, disk size so that's not really true because uh, if the, your VM is uh, shut down that's where you are gonna see null value otherwise you're gonna see the actual value of a disk and here is the admin user let me take you back here on my Azure portal and here you can see that the status of this is started and that's the running status for VM1 that's the reason we are seeing the disk size if I take you back on other virtual machine here and let's see what is the status so see right there if the status is uh, deallocated or stopped you're not gonna see the disk size uh, there you know from the this query so that's a little uh, tip right there and uh, I will put this uh, query in the um, you know description and you can use from there so I hope uh, this video will help uh, you can add more columns to it and whatever you need to do and return uh, and do your analysis uh, for your Azure cloud uh, infrastructure you can uh, uh, use this um, thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video